This is just an impromptu video on explaining how with works um, compared to using a dot operator when changing the variable of another object. So as you can see, I have just one sprite here. It's just a white circle, and I've created an object for it. And it's just object zero. And inside, it doesn't do anything. So I don't have to worry about it. However, I have this other object here, and this is going to act as uh, the controller object, just some other object that's going to control our white circle. So I have a few things here. The R key just restarts the room, so that's easy. We can ignore that. But if I press enter, we'll go into the code. It says object 0.x minus equals 10. Now, as I explained in the with video, I said, well, you can't really do this because it's self-referential. I didn't really elaborate on that. What I mean is that if you have multiple instances of the object you're referencing, GameMaker will find the first instance of that object, get its number, whatever, like in this case, x, it'll get x, and let's say that's, I don't know, 20, and then it will minus equal 10 from that. So it'll subtract 10 from 20, meaning x will now equal 10. But what that will do is it'll make every single instance of object 0 equal 10, which is not what you're trying to do. You're actually trying to take each object and move them according to their own x position. And that's why you use with. So if I press the space bar, see, all I've said is with object 0, x minus equals 10. Now I'm going to run the game and show you the difference. Well, it's not really much of a game. Uh, it's just a room with all these objects everywhere. So if I run it for you, I'll show you the difference between the enter key and the space key. So here's this game, and here are all my white dots. They could be whatever objects you have in your game, but they're all multiples of the same object. They're all instances of one object. Now if you remember, if I press uh, enter, that'll be just object 0 dot x minus equals 10, which is what you think, oh yeah, that's probably the way I'm going to do it. Well, here's what happens when I press enter. See, what GameMaker did was it took the first instance of the object it could find, it took the x value of that instance, and then gave it to all of the other instances. But that's not what we're trying to do. So let me restart the room and show you that if I press space, they all shift by 10, which is what we were trying to do in the first place. And I can keep doing that. So yes, you can use the dot operator to change the value of a variable when referencing another object. So if I had only one object for objects, or sorry, if I had only one instance of object zero, then yeah, sure, I could put minus equals 10 to its x position and we're totally fine. But chances are you have multiple instances of an object. So in that case, you're going to want to use with. So I hope this little example and impromptu video kind of uh, elaborated on the differences of using a dot operator to change the value of a variable and using a with construct. <laughs>